Hi everyone, it's Raquel over Rockin' Curls. I'm going to talk to you today about curl enhancing gels. Um, I use these gels in the LCEG method. I do leave-in, curl cream, curl enhancing gel, and then hard hold gel. If I want my curls to look especially nice, um, curlier, the frizzy, more moisturized, I do all these steps, but sometimes I do less. Um, I might do just leave-in and gel, um, or just leave-in. But these gels, um, they might be not curl enhancing gels on you. They might actually be hard hold gels. If you're very, very curly, like type 3 or type 4 curly girl, um, they might be crunchy on you, like not crunchy, but like give you a little crunch so you can scrunch the crunch out with them. But on me, they don't really give any crunch. Um, well, some of them do, but mostly they don't. And they don't really hold my frizz. And um, like I need a hard hold gel over them because my waves will fall out um, and they won't stay curly as the days move on. Um, I won't get as much definition either, but you're just going to have to play with them and see if they're a curl enhancing gel on you or um, hard enough to use alone. Um, so that being said, I know wavy people that can use these gels um, without a hard hold gel over them. Um, their hair is finer usually and not that frizzy. Um, I know someone that can just use kinky curly custard, that's it, and they get great definition and curls. Um, so it just depends on your frizz factor, experimentation, you're just going to have to play with them, but these are all curl enhancing or curl clumping gels um, that I use under a hard hold gel. Now I might do leave-in and gel, which is the LG method. I might do LEG method, leave-in, enhance and gel, and then hard hold gel, and then sometimes I do LCG method, leave-in curl cream, and then hard hold gel. Um, if I'm feeling lazy, I just usually do LCG, leave-in, curl cream, and hard hold gel, and I get enough moisture, and these I just throw in, these enhancing gels, if I want my hair to look extra curly or nice, or um, just have the ringlets spiral in, but just play with it. I'll get into the first gel is Flaxy Gel, which I can put a picture of it, but you should just Google Flaxy Gel recipes um, on how to make it. But I make it um, and freeze it, and it lasts a long time if I make a huge batch. I just used all mine up, so I don't have any, but. Um, the best thing you can put in it, if your hair is okay with it, is like aloe vera gel or juice, magnesium sulfate for curl enhancement, the aloes for moisture, um, you can put essential oils like lavender or citrus oil for smell, xanthan gum will thicken it, it doesn't have much hold, so I used a little LA Lux gel over it. Um, it gives me the best ringlets and, um, it's my favorite enhancing gel, the best clumps. It's shiny, it blocks frizz for me. Um, and it's natural. I really like that one. I can put a picture of my hair when it's really curly with it. Um, the gel that's the closest that I found that's store bought, that's close to Flexi Gel, is Kinky Curly Curling Custard. A lot of people like this, um, clumps your hair well, it gives me really good ringlets, it um, has no glycerin so that's why a lot of people like it. Um, wavies like to do kinky curly, not today, this custard and then like LA Lux or BioSilk rock hard gel, jelly for glycerin free styling. That's something you can try. Um, if you're not glycerin sensitive, I mean, yeah, don't worry about it. But 
you know, type threes and fours love this for the definition and the shine that it gives. Um, another gel that I really like. Now this is one that I can actually use without a hard hold gel over it. This one and flaxseed gel, it gets frizzy. But this one, I've gotten it just a little bit frizzy with it, but not real bad. But this is the best one I've tried on me that um, doesn't give frizz. It is Mob Top Curly Hair Custard. And like I said, I can use it alone. I have not tried it in extreme humidity yet. I live in the south, so it gets super uh, frizzy in the summer if I don't put the right stuff on it. But it does have glycerin. If you don't like that, it might be an issue for you. But both of these, I just do two scoopfuls of my finger. Like, a little goes a long way, so I just scoop two fingers in, graze it on... Um, both sides of my hair with this one. Just like two scoops for each side of my hair. The most I've done in my hair is like a little over a teaspoon. I didn't really notice a big difference. Now this one I will do like a teaspoon. I need a little bit more with this one. Um, I've done more than that. I didn't really notice a difference. Um, if you're fine maybe, you just need a pea size amount. A little bit goes a long way with this one. Especially if you use too much, people say it weighs their hair down and they don't like the dry time, but I don't really have an issue with that. Um, they say it's finicky, but trick is just use a little bit. And then another one that's similar to Kinky Curly Custard is this Shea Moisture Curling Souffle. Now this is way heavier than the other two I showed. This one, I definitely need a hard hold gel over it. It's not as clumping but it's got more moisture in it because it has um it has shea butter and it has the nectar agave nectar and flaxseed oil so it, it can be a little sticky wet and people they don't like this one because they use too much and you need to be using like shoot like a dime size or less if you ha don't have much hair and I'll use like a quarter maybe and that's it and under a hard hold gel and it gives me shine and definition and um, I think it holds in moisture a little better than the other ones but I can't weigh my hair down sometimes um, if it just depends on the weather um, depending on your weather you're gonna pick your stylards or your hair type. Um, if you're a really fine wavy, the ingredients in this might not work on you um, because it has shea butter, but you're just gonna have to try it. Um, I know wavies that try it and they like it, so you're just gonna have to play with it. CG method is trial and error, so just, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to experiment. Now, this is Eco Styler Gel. On me, it's not hard hold, it's just medium to light hold. A lot of people it's a hard hold gel. Even some wavies with fine hair find it to be hard hold. But my hair is so heavy that anything with a medium to light hold just it just I don't know it pulls the scrunch out the crunch out of it. It just pulls it out. Now this one I got a light crunch that's mop top and enough to hold it so my hair didn't get frizzy. And um, it just dried really soft. I had touchable curls as it dried. Because I don't like air drying with hard hold gel sometimes because it looks crunchy. I like to set my cast and then let it dry. And it looks less noodle-like. Um, but this one air dried really well. This one to me is the best standalone that I've tried. And this one... I don't, I can't really use it alone. It's more like clumping for me. Um, I have trouble using it in the winter and in the summer because it has glycerin. And I mean, here's the thing. I can do glycerin, but it has protein in it, a lot of protein. And that can have a drying effect plus the glycerin. It's, if I have too much glycerin in my gel, it seems like, not my conditioner so much, but in my gel, it can kind of dry me out so 
and then when it's dry then it reaches out for moisture in the summer. So in normal dews like spring and fall this does really well. Um, I have to use a lot of this like a whole entire palm full. Like don't skimp on this okay. The other, the other first three I showed you don't use much okay you're gonna regret it. But this one you need to use a lot. Um, so I've been using it as much lately. Now this one Oh, and as far as Eco Styler gels, they're all the same. They just have different key ingredients. Like some have tea tree oil. Just look at the ingredients. Some have argan. Um, some have more protein. You're just gonna have to play with it. Now, sometimes this can give me shiny curls that aren't frizzy, and sometimes the protein just dries it out, and um, it's not shiny in in the summer. It gets frizzy. So. This one's really weather dependent. Now this Chamomile Rose Curl Maker, this one is also glycerin free. So a lot of people like this. Um, they compare it to the Kinky Curly Gusford, but you get 12, 12 ounces instead of 8. It's, I think it costs more than this though, but I I use this one on this side of my hair and I use this one, uh, the Kinky Curly Custard, on this side of my hair. And let's look at it. Okay. Um, you can see my bangs are the curliest. Let's get them out of the way. It's a little bit curlier with more body over here. The Kinky Curly Custard and the uh, chamomile rose is a little bit less, but it's still good. Now, one thing I like about this one, um, they both work well, but this one has coconut oil and aloe and castor seed oil. Now, you're going to have to use a low poo to get the castor oil out, just FYI, but um, it doesn't have a lot of hold. I have to use hard hold gel over it as well, but those oils can give you a little bit of a shine. This Kinky Curly doesn't have any oils in it. It's just all humectants and herbs and stuff. Um, so in the winter, this one holds my moisture in better. Because in extreme cold, not, not like the winter I had this year, but one winter I had really cold weather, even like below zero, which we don't normally have in the south. This one kind of dried my hair out because it had so much humectants. And this one, the curl maker, had that oil. And my hair was just really moisturized with this one. But still, and my curls formed up. So in the dead of winter, these two did the best on me. These are my favorite curl enhancing gels. I was just going to explain to you a little bit about them. Because people ask about you know, what can I use as a curl enhancer or how can I get my curls more defined and these are some gels that might help you get extra enhancement and ringlets especially if you have wavy hair it can help them kind of form up and spiral and also diffusing will help you if you have wavy hair to get curls if you're just normally getting waves but hope you like this video and that it helps you Alright, I'll talk to you later.